Even though Ukraine is trying everything to make some progress, Russia is stopping them successfully. It's day 470 of Russia's operation in Ukraine. Let's dive deeper. Ukrainian forces have shifted their focus from Lech to south of Zaporozhye. They started launching massive attacks yesterday. At the initial stage, after doing some multiple probing attacks, they launched by far the biggest attack. Attack consisted of units of the 128th Separate Motorized Rifle Brigade and 15th National Guard Brigade, equipped with Western tanks and armored vehicles. In addition, they also had air support. At first they were able to take Lobkov and were moving to Zarabayanki. But the Russian forces who retreated from Lobkov called air support and were able to regroup in a timely manner. As a result they were able to stop the Ukrainian armored columns one kilometer away from the settlement. It is said that incoming Ukrainian column was hit with all types of ammunition. As a result they suffered significant damage and were forced to roll back. Currently Lobkov is considered a gray zone, it is used by Russian forces as a destruction zone. As soon as Ukrainian forces attack, they retreat and then greet them with artillery and push them back. After their attack did not go as planned, the front became quiet for some time. During this time they were recovering the abandoned vehicle from the ground, while Russian artillery was hitting them. Around this time many Garin drones were spotted around the area. One Ukrainian MiG-29 was also shot down. Now they shifted their focus once again. Around evening, Ukrainian forces started hitting Russian positions with heavy artillery. This continued for about a couple of hours. After that, they launched the first wave of attack on Robotine. But to their surprise Russian forces had undermined all the open fields. So Ukrainian heavy armor got choked out in that field. And with help of artillery and aviation Russian forces were able to inflict heavy damage. The Ukrainian column was forced to retreat. Then after regrouping, they launched multiple waves of attacks. These attacks were biggest in this area. Russian tanks along with artillery and aviation were fighting them for many hours. But Ukrainian forces managed to capture small heights around the area. Around this time Russian called in their additional forces. In addition, one tank company from the neighboring area also came along with a special forces unit. Aviation was carrying out sorties every 10 minutes. It is said that fighting continued for six hours. It was literally hell. One Russian source reported that, during radio interception of a Ukrainian unit, they discovered that one unit was refusing to go on the offensive. As this is hard to confirm, take this with grain of salt. At the time of making this video fighting is still going on, waves after waves are coming in. But given how much force Ukraine is using, they are not able to gain any ground. Just to remind you that, Russia has not even used their strategic reserve in this attack. All the defense is done by forward Russian positions with additional help from neighboring positions. In yesterday's defense, the Lancet was used extensively by Russian forces. Apparently it was able to destroy the radar station of the German Iris T air defense system. In part 2 we will cover the Bakhmut and Eastern Front. Don't forget to join us on Telegram, link is in the description.